And now here it is, cancer genetics, symbol CGIX on the OTC QB. They are applying for the NASDAQ. This is a new red chip client company, and I'm proud to have earned the right to represent this company. John Papa John, the Greek billionaire I mentioned earlier, has invested $12 million in this company and sits on its board of directors. I had the pleasure of spending two hours with him at the Waldorf Hotel in New York recently. It's amazing what you can learn from a man of his success. He made his fortune, as I said, buying, funding, and starting small companies in the healthcare space. He's taken over 50 companies public, invested hundreds of millions of his own money in these companies, and he loves cancer genetics. He believes it will be a billion dollar market cap company. Current market cap, 50 million. Now let's go to an interview with the CEO, Pana Sharma, and learn why the big man thinks so highly of this CEO and this company. Pana, thanks for being with us today. Dave, thank you. It's good to be here. Uh, congratulations also. You recently went public. You raised $7 million. You have a, a technology used to diagnose various types of cancers using your knowledge of uh, genetics. Tell us about the technology. Absolutely. Uh, what we've done is we've really looked at the genetic sites of interest uh, in bloodborne cancer and in urogenital cancer. We have an unparalleled portfolio for a company of our size. We've launched successfully five products now in hematologic and urogenital cancers. And what we do is we do three things. We understand what are the genetic sites of interest to subtype the cancer. Second, what is the outcome for the patient going to be? And third, how do you map that to a therapeutic or treatment option? Well, I want to simplify for our viewers. You work with a consortium of hospitals, clinics, major institutions, Mayo Clinic, Stanford University, Cleveland Clinic. They're sending you, some of these are sending you uh, tissue, uh, blood samples. So you're analyzing uh, these samples. You're extracting the DNA and you're identifying, you're identifying that cancer, the subtype of cancer, uh, so that we can more effectively identify the cancer and move it to the next stage, which is the treatment option. Is that correct? Yes, today we get um, uh, samples from all around the United States and now increasingly in the world. About 8% of our revenue in 2012 was outside the U.S. And centers are sending us samples for their patients uh, because they want to more appropriately get a complete genomic picture of the cancer and map to the right treatment options. And treatment options are becoming more complex and healthcare costs are also increasing. So really by using our genetic technology, we're able to get a complete understanding of those cancers and then target the right treatment option. So this is a paradigm shift. Traditional uh, medicine, traditional diagnosis would use pathology, uh, a different type of analysis. Explain the difference. Absolutely. Uh, pathology and morphology has mostly relied on a subjective analysis of tissue. And what we do is we look at the underlying genome. And cancer, as we know, is a genetic disease. We've known that for about two to three decades. But now we're finally bringing that technology and bringing that insight in a cost-effective manner to community hospitals and to patients where it's needed. And that really is a paradigm shift. It's mapping the understanding of the genome, but making it widely available. And we think we have a tremendous market in front of us in the United States, but also globally. There's about $6 billion spent today in diagnosing bloodborne and urogenital cancers. And we think we can take a fair share of that market over if you, time. You, and if you can diagnose more quickly, more precisely, you, then you can identify better treatment options and save a lot of money for hospitals and our healthcare system. Absolutely. John Papa John, a very, very wealthy man, made his career in investing in companies just like yours. He's worth hundreds of millions. He's invested in your company. Why? Uh, John is a big believer not only in the company and what we're doing, but also the, the team. Uh, he's been an early investor and and he really understands the paradigm shift that the company like ours can have. And not only understanding the cancer, the disease, but then very importantly, making a commercial reality out of it. And that's what we've been able to do over the last several years. I joined the company about three years ago. We've had a tremendous amount of growth in this market. You but, have, you grew your revenues 40%, 2011, 2012, just under 5 million. Uh, do you expect to continue that growth rate? Uh, oh, absolutely. The, I think we'll be able to uh, continue that growth rate or exceed it. Uh, we have a phenomenal year in front of us in 2013. We have recently launched our renal cancer array for kidney cancer. That's a very big market I want to note States. here, I don't mean to cut you off, 
but I want to note here that uh, Decode Genetics was uh, purchased by Amgen for $415 That's million. Right. And revenue is similar to yours, where you are today. Quickly, two sentences. Tell us why investors should consider positioning in your stock now rather than tomorrow. Uh, we have a tremendous amount of growth in front of us. We've recently um, begun relationships with major biotechs and pharma, such as Roche and Gilead. Uh, we think over the next several years, as we launch product, grab market share, and grow the company, that we're going to be extremely valued by pharma's, biotechs, and the med device companies. We're really sitting on what we think is a renaissance of migration toward genetic testing in a cost-effective way, so you can really change the curve in cancer. Bonna, thank you so much for being with us today. We'll have you back on soon as uh, we see your company develop. Thank you. Thank you, Dave. My value proposition, partnered with the biggest names in healthcare, the Mayo Clinic, the National Cancer Institute, the Cleveland Clinic, Stanford University, revenue growth of 40% in 2012, similar if not greater growth expected this year, 2013. Technology, yes, their technology, their library, their understanding of human genetics, their ability to diagnose cancer more accurately than traditional technologies. They are at the forefront of DNA-based cancer diagnostics, the future of medicine. World-class management team led by Dr. Shigante, 40 years in cancer research at the world's premier cancer research institution, Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center. Now let me try and drive my point home. Exact sciences, very similar technology, very similar revenue. Market cap, 615 million. The market cap of cancer genetics is 50 million. The market cap of exact sciences is more than 10 times that of cancer genetics. But again, similar revenue, similar technology. You see, DNA-based cancer diagnosis and treatment is the new, new thing. It is changing, revolutionizing how we diagnose and treat cancer. You don't have to understand everything about their technology. You just need to be in the stock before they get a NASDAQ listing and before the world finds out what they have. And again, I want to note, Cancer Genetics is a red chip client company. However, we do not receive any stock or options as compensation. Hear me well. Just a monthly cash fee. Learn from John and Papa John and buy this stock. Now visit our website right now. Call us at 1-800-RED-CHIP, extension zero. Sign up for our weekly newsletter, the Red Chip Money Report. And if you're a serious investor, sign up for the Red Chip Plus Investor Package. It's only $9.99 a month. Here's what you get. All Red Chip research profiles 48 hours before our non-paid subscribers. Free access to our specialists Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can ask them any question about any stock in the Red Chip Nation by calling our 1-800 number. Free access to all of our CEO conferences, $175 savings and a free copy of my forthcoming book, Microcap Superstars, which will teach you the secrets of the pros like John Papa John. Call us now or go to our website and sign up today. You can sign up for the free weekly newsletter or you can sign up for Redship Plus. Either way, get on board.